my name is Lewis, and today we'll be reviewing the GAN 251M. So this is a 2x2 two two GAN cube. So today we'll be uh, unboxing and reviewing it. So let's go straight into it. Let's just slide this out. So at first glance, there's a opening here with the details at the end, the bottom. There's a black box. This looks really cool. Uh, so let's see how we open it. There's a flap here. So it looks like I open it from here. Nice. Okay. So I'm gonna open it. And wow. Look at it inside. It's pre-scrambled. Okay, I'm gonna take it out. And first glance, it looks really, really cool. Uh, and there's also this pack of magnets, yellow, blue, and purple. And I think inside there's green. Uh, and a set of instructions. So it, te it has some advertising and how it was made. See, as you can see. And on the other side is. Um, some more manuals. Oh no, th these are the same. This is just in Mandarin. And this is a uh, set of instructions of how to how to solve the two by two Rubik's cube, all in Mandarin. Okay. And we also have a two by two bag. Now let's get into opening the cube and testing it and everything. So I'm just gonna open this and first spins, let's go. Wow, this is super duper smooth. And wow, it looks uh, a bit poppy and it looks like it's on the, it has a bit frictiony feel like most cubes, like my main, my GAN356. Um, if you maybe you can see the difference, I'm not sure, but um, this one ha is a slightly more glossy feel, and this one's a bit more frictiony. But maybe that's just because it's new. Okay, let's take a open to the diagonals. Okay, I don't know if the camera can see this, but there are two magnets down here and two magnets down here, and there's a, the folder. So let's just try corner cutting. Wow. This is so good. Nice. This is so super duper smooth. And let's see. This is a bit unclean, but maybe that's just the, the mail packaging. But let's try solving this first. Okay, so first create the blue side because that's most. And then opposite is green, so wait a second. This corners are twisted. Seriously? Okay, we finished this side and this side. Um, now, no, there are no pairs, so okay, and then. Now let's see how we can customize this. I'm gonna put all these boxes over here. Rubbish. And let's read this. So it has, okay, it's a bit blurry in the screen, but it says GAN Box V5 Manual. The new generation of GAN Box V5 is full of fun. Alone it perfectly displays and protects your cube. With eight of them, you can build a giant functional two by two. Two by two by two, sorry. So the upper cover has a GAN logo right here. Uh, let's see if we can, okay. And in the box, this you pinch all sides like this and pull out like this. And then it opens and there's a, a, a piece here for you to insert your cube in. And then, or you could put it in through this angle, 
click it in. And then uh, this bit completely folds around the tiny one point and it comes out. Okay, so this seems a tiny bit unstable, so let's try to see how to use the um, try to see how to use the magnets. So based on first looks, the a set of green uh, magnets of, on the sides. And let's see how you open this. Okay. Wow, so this is a lot of magnets and it's all fit in perfectly through this, like this. Now I'm just gonna rearrange the things because they seem to have spilled. All right, I did it. So as you can see here, there's this middle piece, which is actually, the divider is actually a tool. See? So this divider fits in the middle and it has this side and two smaller sides. Oh no, they're all three different sizes. So this one's smaller, bigger, and biggest. And it kind of reminds you of the fidget spinner. Okay, let's just get into it. So there are tiny bolts in the middle, which aren't like the GNS bolts. Okay, so if I fit one of these in here, in the middle, I can fit it in like this and then turn it anti-clockwise all right turning it anti-clockwise now oh my god okay sorry what was i saying uh before i was rudely cut off uh just spin it anti-clockwise and it's oh sh come on now I'm just going to take the GES nuts out of this. Whew. I finally got the GES nut out. I just need to... Okay, I think it's supposed to pop out for it. But for this one, I'll just be using the yellow nuts for now. Okay, I'm just going to put the yellow nut in. Phew. and see if it fits through the hole yep and finish and clockwise turning it back in okay. oh my god clockwise, clockwise. be back in a minute okay i finally got the yellow uh edge in now i need to do it on six others see you there Oh, I finally finished adding GES nuts to all of these. Instead of um, doing yellow, I did purple instead because halfway through I realized that yellow was a bit too tight. So I'm going to do some practice, uh, no, some sample tests on the 2x2, some sample runs. Uh, here I have the stack mat timer, which uh, is what they use in the actual things so you just take them off and scrum it and then boom like that so gonna turn it on gonna restart and i'm shuffling it okay i'm gonna show you this shuffle okay gonna inspect and then i'm gonna press the go and then go Inspect. I don't know if you can see that, but nine point seven four five. nine point one four five well that's all for this video make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below uh what your favorite part of the video is and what what um color of nut you prefer see you later